Hey guys and welcome to Thursday. Um, first I want to say thank you to the amazing Dreadfully Divine for taking over for me on Thursday. Um, if you follow me on my personal channel, which the link will be below, um, you'll know kind of what's going on. Um, but this week we are doing easy back to school looks. And um, I wanted to do something, of course, really easy with minimal products that you can pretty much get up and go with. Um, if you were, if you guys are anything like I was when I was in school, even in college, um, I would sleep till the last minute. Um, I love sleeping; <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things. Um, so I would wait to the last possible second to get up. So. I would usually be in a rush, um, but your makeup doesn't have to look like you are in a rush. It can be bright and fun. Um, in high school, I was mainly gothic. I always wore black eyeliner, black eyeshadow, and black lipstick. Had black hair, only wore black clothes. Um, not really much has changed um, except my hair color, and I don't wear black lipstick as often. Um, but my clothes are pretty much the same. Except for today I'm wearing purple, which is weird. Usually I wear black. Um, <laughs> but once I started college, I got really into colors and stuff. Um, but if you're going back to school and you're starting middle school or high school or even college, you know, you are limited on funds. And so I tried to find my most... Um, wallet friendly items and um i'm not using any brushes for this look um because when i was in school all i had to use were these and these little <laughs> sponges and q-tips um i had no idea about makeup brushes and if i would have seen a makeup brush at that time at the prices that they are today, I probably would have had a mini stroke. So, I'm just going to tell you what I did to my face. Um, you know, when you wake up, of course you're going to look tired. So, I just added my BB cream. BB creams are great. Um, they're a great investment, actually. Um, you know, sometimes they can be a little expensive. <laughs> and sometimes... You know, it just depends on where you get them and stuff like that. So, search online for a really good BB cream. Um, I really like the, I think they're called BB79, I believe. But this is the Love Squared. And I got this from OSAP.com, which I'll have a link below where you can check it out. Um, this is my favorite BB cream of all time. I've had this for a while now, and a little bit definitely goes a long way. And then I just went over with my, um, what is this, Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer. And this is a neutralizer, so it works for all skin colors and tones. And even though it looks really light, actually I thought it was going to be darker than my skin tone, it just neutralizes the red in your skin and just gives you a really nice finish. Um... And if you want a matte finish, you can top it over with some translucent powder, which you can get the Cody Airspun Powder, which is very affordable. Or you can leave it as kind of a glowy look, which I did today. Um, and I added my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. Um, I don't know if they make these anymore. I really don't. I'm, I love these so much. Um, but if... They don't, I don't think they make these, but, um, any kind of mousse blush, I would suggest mousse, the mousse kind, because they tend to stay, like the cream blushes, I find, kind of go in the pores, but the mousse blushes kind of stay up on the cheeks a little bit better, so I definitely recommend that. Um, so moving on to the eyes, see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. I know my eyebrows look terrible. Oh well. <laughs> um, quickly, I'm just going to fill in my brow. Nothing dramatic. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pencil in Taupe. And these are like 99 cents pretty much everywhere. 
if you find them anywhere else that's expensive, like expensive, more expensive, then go somewhere else. Honestly. I've seen them somewhere for like two ninety nine, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to Walgreens, bye. I'm not about to spend this much money on these. Um, now you need a really good primer that's going to last all day, but I know a lot of people cannot afford the Urban Decay or the MAC or anything like that. So I have two suggestions. The color tattoos are really affordable, they're about $6. And I have um, two of them. I have Too Cool and Barely Branded, which is more of a um, neutral color. These are amazing. They help your eyeshadows last all day. Um, before I got into primers, I was using concealer sticks, which work as well. Um, so you could use the concealer that you used for your blemishes, but just kind of like wipe it off before you put it on your eye. Or if you um, just take a brush and apply it to your face and then you know try not to cross contaminate because that's nasty um <laughs> so i have my color tattoo in too cool and it's just a white color um i like this a lot for colored looks and using my finger to blend it in like i said today i'm not using any brushes Because if I, like, when I was in middle school and high school, all I used were those little sponges. If I would ask my mom or my grandmother um, to buy me a $20 brush for makeup, they probably would have sent me to the loony bin. And, yeah. So the color that's going to be all over my lid today is from Sassy Chic Cosmetics and it's a really pretty kind of a, la a borderline lime green mint green color and it's called Spruce and I feel like there's something crawling on me but it's not. <laughs> um, really really pretty color and I'm just going to take my pointer finger and just kind of dab it. And, you know, you get fallout. It's okay. That's what makeup wipes are for. If you want to do your, um, eyeshadow first, that's fine. And then just blend right where your, um, the crease bone is. And you could always, of course, use these little sponges to get in the very like, corner. Nothing wrong with using these ones and throwing them out, so. Yeah. <laughs> For a highlight, I'm going to be using these um, Gemini palette from Profusion. I got these a while back, a long while back. And I haven't even used them, so I'm going to use this kind of ivory tone on a clean finger and just kind of apply it to my brow, lightly tapping, and then blend. For my waterline, I'm going to use a white eyeliner. Um, just so you see more awake and not like you were up either studying all night, on the phone all night, like I usually was, um, or on the internet all night, or even partying all night, like all my other friends were. I was on the phone all night. Um, now I don't have a cheap uh, white eyeliner, so we use my Urban Decay one, but a good one is the Rimmel. Um, in pure white that one is amazing because it's just so bright and pigmented and beautiful and I need to get another one like that
You know, you definitely want to look awake even when you're half dead, feeling like a zombie at school. For liner, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ink It liner in black ink, just on the top. Look it out just a little bit. You can go as dramatic or as simple as you want with the wing. And the dreaded tight line. And for mascara, the LA Colors Double Volume Mascara. I really like this stuff. It's really good. that's the finished eye uh, look it says you know I'm awake I'm you know bright fun but you didn't take a lot of time to create this look but no one has to know now for lips you can either just go without one or you could do a lip balm um, I'm gonna do a lip combination. The Color Whisper in Bare to be Bold, which is just a really nice nude color. They're really light and just look really natural on your skin. And then just any random gloss that you have so that is the final look for the back to school um, tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for subscribing to our channel and supporting us we really do appreciate all the love and support you guys have given us um, you guys are amazing and thank you guys so much um, if you guys have any requests on any kind of videos you would like to see, let us know in the comment section, messages on our Facebook fan page, which will be below, be below as well. Thank you guys, and have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye.